Hey everybody, Bill here for Destructoid, coming to you with some more Borderlands pre-sequel info. As you may have seen my last video, I got to preview this game a couple weeks ago. And right now I want to tell you a little bit about Wilhelm the Enforcer. So Wilhelm is another newly playable character, but a character that we already know from Borderlands 2. He was actually like one of the first big bosses. Uh, he's this big giant robot dude. Uh, actually, the first time I fought him when I played Borderlands 2, I killed him really fast and I didn't even know he was a man. I just thought it was a robot. Uh, anyway, so first let me tell you a little bit about Wilhelm's action skill. It's called Wolf and Saint. It's actually two little robot drones that fly around Wilhelm and help him out in battle. So the wolf drone is more focused on aggression. It's more about attacking enemies and helping Wilhelm to crush his foes. Uh, and the Saint drone is a more defensive, uh, supportive drone. So it will heal Wilhelm, it will you know, give buffs to the party and stuff like that. Now let me tell you a little bit about Wilhelm's skill trees. The first one I want to talk about is the hunter-killer skill tree, which is reference to Terminator. I'm not going to explain it, you can go watch the movies if you want to. Uh, so this tree focuses on building up the wolf drone, which as I mentioned in talking about his action skill, the wolf drone attacks enemies for Wilhelm. So there's skills in there that there's one that will allow you to target specific enemies for your drones to attack. Uh, the ultimate skill allows the drones to actually shoot, you know, launch missiles at enemies. Uh, so it's all about having a little buddy in battle, kind of like um, the best friends forever tree for Gage in Borderlands 2, I assume. I didn't get to play with it that much. The next skill tree I want to talk about is called Dreadnought, and this one is all about pumping up Wilhelm's own uh, offensive abilities and survivability. So it's just about making him pretty much the ultimate badass, you know, boost gun damage and also life and, and you know, health and stuff like that. The last skill tree I want to talk about is the Cyber Commando tree. And this is kind of the most notable tree because this is the one where there are certain skills throughout when you achieve this skill, it actually adds a, a robotic augmentation to Wilhelm. You know, and so the further along you go, the more he starts to look like a like a like a power loader, like you see in Borderlands 2. Uh, so this is all about uh, artificial augmentations for Wilhelm. So when it comes to Wilhelm, I actually have a couple of points that I am somewhat bothered by. Uh, my first point is that the the Cyber Commando skill tree is the only one uh, at this point that adds visible, you know, robotic augmentations to Wilhelm. And uh, you know, they've even said that like this is. This is the story focus tree for Wilhelm. And what that bothers me because he doesn't look like he does in Borderlands 2 just from the skills, but still this one tree is the only one that adds those augmentations. Like if we know where Wilhelm is going uh, story-wise, so why does only one tree reflect that? And I don't know, it's, it's just weird. I don't see why all of them don't do that. You know, he, Wilhelm as a person, like very integral to his character, wants these augmentations. And it, just, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me that only one tree accomplishes this. One more little thing about Wilhelm that really bothered me when I was playing the game. Uh, I was using this, the Dreadnought skill tree. And there's one skill, I don't remember what it was called, but what it does is when you activate the action skill, Wilhelm's running speed skyrockets. Like, he's running so fast that it's really hard to control. I almost went off a cliff a couple of times. Um, and it was really impractical in battle. I don't, you know, I don't really see much use in going that fast like I, I would say traversal but then you're gonna get like way ahead of your party and they're gonna have to catch up and it's just it's too fast to control in battle so I feel like this is a skill that's going to get nerfed before the game comes out hopefully to a level that's just a lot of fun because I mean it, it really was fun until it became kind of cumbersome all that aside and you know there's still room for those things to change the game's not out yet but I overall Wilhelm is a really cool character he talks in a cool robot voice he's got a cyborg guy kind of a badass, his skill tree is full of like, you know, Terminator and other like cyberpunk references, so I'm all about him and, you know, save your final judgments for when the game comes out, but that's what I experienced. For more Borderlands news and all of your video game news, you can go to Destructoid.com. For more videos like this, you can follow this, subscribe to this channel, follow follow me on Twitter, I'm at Bill Zoker, and just stay frosty out there, you moon explorers. Wilhelm's running speed? Just... Uh. Fuck.